Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. I'm here at the First Baptist Church of Clinton, Tennessee, a Southern Baptist Church in uh, East Tennessee. Actually, a very large one. If you can tell the buildings, I mean, all that building property, all that is the church. And I mean, you got a big old building over here, you can see. And uh, But I want to tell you a little story. Years ago, somebody asked me, said, Spencer, I, for a college project, I got to go to art exhibit downtown Atlanta. And I, I don't want to go by myself. It's, it's kind of a bore but I, I gotta go for college credit would you go with me i said oh, all right that's fine i it, it happened to work out in my schedule to go and so i went to this art exhibit and there was this lunatic i hate art I, modern art is just so to me it's occultic it's it's weird i don't like it um look, they got the re stuff and everything and then they got this nice little cross with donors and the names and the bricks and stuff so but i went there and there was this exhibit and it was all real religious, was like paper mache models and stuff. And the, I just kind of looked through it. There's a lot of these weird little sayings on the paper mache models. And I noticed that a lot of these things were Bible verses on, on this paper mache. And like, it, it, it was totally goofy. I mean, like, I, I didn't like any of that stuff. I didn't enjoy it. I thought it was weird. I was ready to get out of there. And one of the things that it said was, and I never really forgot it, it said, Satan doesn't want the world. He already has it. Satan is looking to get the church. And as nutty as that exhibit was and how crazy all that was, I thought to myself, maybe that person who, knew, who wrote that knew what they were talking about. Because see, Satan, you know, like, like there's, if there was a bar there and this is a church, you know, Satan's already got the bar. What he wants to do is he wants to find a way to get in here. And he's looking for little subtle ways to do that, little clever, sneaky ways to infiltrate, and little, um, you know, little footholds he can get inside of a place. And in order to do that, he's got to be very crafty. He's got to be very subtle. He got into the Garden of Eden. That's where God was. He got into that, and, he, and God loved that, and so he messed all that up. And we're going to walk by the road here. There's cars going by, so I'm going to raise my voice for you. But he got in there where... Adam and Eve was in the garden. He got in there. Um, just anything that God starts and has, Satan wants to get in there and mess it up. He's, he's always looking to infiltrate. And if there was a bar over there, he's already got that, but he does want the church. He wants to get in here somehow. And he has gotten into many places just like this. And I want to show you how he has. Oh, there's a church sign right there. It's all red, lit up real well. And, uh, but... You know, if if the devil can get the church, then he can destroy the world and he can send people to hell. And how does he do it? How does he get into churches? Well, first of all, he got in there to the music and he got into several churches through subtle little tiny little things. And there's one way that this church is going to be captured by Satan and it's here on the sign. And I want to show it to you because it's devastating. And it's coming up here exactly what, how Satan has gotten into this church and how he's infiltrated it. I want you to see this when it comes up. There it is, yoga. <laughs> Let's go practice some Kundalini while we're in the house of God with the Holy Spirit and the Kundalini there. I want to make this video because I want you to know that this is not some far off goofy stuff that's happened in California. This isn't something that's, you know, this is, this is way far away from us. This is the Bible Belt. This is East Tennessee. This is a Southern Baptist church that I'm looking at that is bringing people in to practice yoga. And, and I, pr I promise you, it's not just stretching. It's not just, you know, finding, you know, learning balance and stuff. They're practicing satanic kundalini in this place. And they're opening their pub. I mean, there it is again, the yoga right there. That's, there it is. It's, it's, on their, it's on their sign on the side of the road. And they're putting that out there so the public can know, hey, come to this church. We practice Eastern mysticism in this congregation. This is apostasy. This is another reason to get out of the Southern Baptist Convention. This is a, another reason to realize that we are in the end days. North American Christianity has, first it was pragmatism, and then it went into apostasy. Now, now we're just openly practicing Eastern mysticism in these Southern Baptist congregations across the country. The Southern Baptist Convention is corrupt. You need to get out. J.D. Greer is a, is a modernist. He's a heretic. 
And and I'm t- I'm telling you, there there's there's the spectrum of all these people that are calling themselves Christians, and these folks here are modernists. These folks are theological liberals. These folks do not believe the gospel. And if they're doing that, they're practicing yoga at this church, ladies and gentlemen. Then I guarantee you, I'm guarantee you need to get out of that. Get your family out of these big fat building apostate denominations and i don't care if there's a big beautiful cross and stained glass on the building i don't care if they got a nice parking lot and nice cars in the in the way i don't care about any of that stuff get your family out of something like this they're seducing spirits in this place this place is shipwrecked this place is sold out the gospel i mean look they, they got a, they got they got a workout gym i mean that guy's up there in i mean the Lord didn't shed his blood so that you could provide a place in the community to practice Pilates. Jesus Christ did not go to the cross and shed his blood so that you could have a place to practice yoga every week. Jesus shed his blood for the church. The church is supposed to be preaching the gospel of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ and spending our money and our time and resources to get the gospel into all the world and plant churches and get the gospel truth in all the world. And these people up there, they're not doing that. They're practicing yoga. Trying to make the world a better place. The problem with, with them is that they're making the world a better place <clears throat> from which to die and go to hell. So you do what you want to. But I'm telling you, places like this are dangerous. I, w- I wouldn't put my worst enemy's family in that church. I wouldn't do it. And I don't think you should either. So subscribe to our channel. Consider, consider joining with the membership. And that just helps support what we're doing. We're, we don't withhold any content from anybody. We just try to tell folks about all this. But ladies and gentlemen, if there was a bar there, that, that's not the enemy. That's not what Satan wants. He's already got that. Satan wants this. And if he can get that, then he can get the gospel. And he's already in this place. I already know he is. He's in there. And he's working to work with a smile on his face. And he's doing it through things like yoga, Eastern mysticism, and I guarantee if I pull somebody out of that building and come out of here and say, hey, you know, there's yoga in this place. This is wicked. This is wrong. You know, they'd, they'd, I guarantee they'd be like, well, you're just judging and not loving. I love you. That's why I say this stuff. I love these people. That's why I say something. And I love you. That's why I put these comments out here in these videos letting you know, stay away from that junk. That's apostasy. That's sin. That's wicked. Satan has captured this place. And you need to get out while there's still time. God bless you, friend. Let me add one more thing now that I'm off the street and it's not as loud and I can think a little bit clearer, but I want to say this to you folks, First Baptist Church, Clinton, Tennessee. You should be ashamed of yourself for allowing such dangerous stuff to be in your congregation. All you deacons that run that church, and it's a Southern Baptist church, so the deacons run it. All of you deacons that run that church, you should be ashamed of yourself. If you're a deacon at a Southern Baptist church and and you have agreed to allow a Kundalini yoga, Eastern mysticism, which that's what it is. It's it's Eastern mysticism. It is a process of demonic possession upon a person. If you have allowed that to happen in your church, you should resign and apologize publicly to that congregation for leading them into devil worship. I mean, I'm serious. And and the pastor of First Baptist Church of Clinton, Tennessee, you should be ashamed of yourself. And quite frankly, the Southern Baptist Convention should be ashamed for allowing something so demonic just to be openly displayed in their church. Listen, this this isn't this isn't a game. This isn't a preferential thing. I've worked in Africa for years. I've I've spent over over a decade of mission work in Africa. I've seen the Kundalini. I have seen all that in its rawest form. It's not just stretching. It's not just exercise. And I understand that's what you people are trying to do. You just you just think, well, you know, there's there's a market for people who want to do yoga, and 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 you know, so maybe we can provide the place for them. And then when they come in and do yoga, maybe we can share the Lord with these people. I, I understand how you think, but I'm I'm telling you. That logic breaks down real quick. I mean, why, I mean, why, why don't you just put a bar in your church to try to attract people that want to drink liquor? I mean, why, why don't you just do that? I mean, you, you may as well, because that's what you're doing. You're bringing something in that you don't understand. You, you hear me, you East Tennessee people, you need to hear me. You are bringing in something into your church that you don't understand. Your pragmatism that you have adopted, which is if it gets people in the door, it works. Your pragmatism 
has opened you up to something that you don't understand and it is you you're 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 handling a rattlesnake i mean you you have invited that into your church and it's going to destroy the next generation First Baptist Church, Clinton, Tennessee, I want you to know that eventually you're probably going to have to drop the name Baptist and eventually you're going to go into some Bethel Church, uh, Eastern Mystic type stuff. You have, you have allowed the devil to walk into your front door by doing this stuff. And if you have, if there's a shred of people, if there even is a remnant of people in that church who love the Lord, and who want to genuinely see people saved, then you need to get your family out of that thing. I'm serious. I, you need to get your family out of that mess. At this point, nothing surprises me anymore. Nothing. The following way is here. It's here. Southern Baptists are doing it. I just showed you the Southern Baptist Church is doing it. And all these Laodicean evangelicals who just think, well, if it works, then let's just do it. You're what's wrong with this country. And you're, you're, you're being so reckless with your own souls and your own children's souls and your own grandchildren's souls that, quite frankly, I don't even know how you sleep at night. And I know exactly what I'm saying. I, I know exactly what I'm saying. And I mean every word that I'm saying. Subscribe to our channel. Have a good night.